Hey guys, so I can without a doubt say that buying booster boxes is really, really stupid. And people should stop. Uh, basically, it is gambling, but it's gambling in worse odds, in my opinion, than a casino. Blackjack is forty nine fifty one. Baccarat is something even closer, right? There is some potential for you to win, and obviously you get cash. But in terms of this type of stuff, uh, there is no way in hell anyone is winning this game. So there is a lot of reasons. There are a ton, a ton of reasons that people buy boxes for fun and so on. But I would recommend, th there are a lot of old boxes. War to Spark, I saw a sale on David Adams for like $95. Or maybe something like that. And they give you like free gifts and like all that other stuff. And free shipping. Just buy singles guys. Or buy cheap box. If you have the itch to break. Buy cheap boxes. You do not need to buy. Something this very very expensive. Because again no one needs something. to. No one needs to pay $500 a collector box. I am very anti collector box. I've always been this way. I think collector boxes are legitimately a, a waste of money. Uh, I think that the specialization and all these spe they don't seem all that special to me. I mean, in my, let, let's be honest here. It seems like it's if everything's special, then nothing is special. If nothing is special, then why are you paying that much money for these products? Are you really enjoying them sitting in your closet? So back to. Um, my initial assessment, if you do want to break boxes, there are plenty of really cheap boxes. I'm actually on David Adams right now. I'll give you a, uh, a list of them. Magic the Gathering, Guilds of Ravnica, Booster Box, $100 a box. I'm not sponsored by them, and I never would take a... Uh, Ravnica Allegiance is $100 a box. Zendikar Rising is $80 a box. Wilds of Eldraine Draft Booster Box is 100 a box. Brothers War is ninety five a box five five nine nine five a case, and the uh, oh this is a box that Rudy said is uh, worth a lot of money. Magic the Gathering Lost Caverns of Ixalan only one hundred nine dollars a box. Mergers of Carvalho Manor if you want to buy collector boosters around two hundred, and if you just want to play boosters at one oh nine. And there's a lot of Pokemon for sale too. It looks like Pokemon is also not doing well. People are like, oh, well, you know, hey, Magic's not the only card game that's doing bad, guys. There are a lot of other card games. Yes. Yes, you idiots. Like, no one needs to buy card games. Okay? <laughs> like, like, no one needs to buy these card games. Like, you're not... No one is forcing you to buy this. You can put in the S&P 500... Put in Nvidia, put in something else, right? But you are putting in um, a savings account and get a CD for four or five percent a year. That's probably not a bad idea right now. Legitimately, no one is forcing you to do this, guys. No one. Um, and at the end of the day, um, you have a very interesting. Decision to make. Another thing that I want to mention that I think is not really mentioned very much is the fact that many, many people are just way better off buying singles. Uh, straight up, singles is the way to go. It has always been the way to go. I mean, the best financial advice, MTG finance advice, is to buy singles. If somebody, like Alpha Investment, is telling you to buy a box and break with him so he can get the revenue... He, he's not, I mean, you realize he broke it. He, he used to do that. So there used to be a business model that no longer exists where you break cards. I know, kind of kind of interesting, right? You buy a box at distributor price, $80. Average EV of a box uh, the first week, probably over 100 So you open half your inventory. You sell these singles that you don't want on eBay, just like Alpha Investments did. And then you uh, keep the cards that you do want. That's it. That is it. 
So there isn't much uh there is not much other information here like other than buy singles. If opening boxes were, were so profitable, Alpha Investments would still be opening boxes today and selling these singles, but it's not. There's no profit, there's no you are just going to get massively screwed. Massively screwed, right? Uh, and, and that's why no game store does it again. No game store does it anymore. And yeah, I mean, ask your local game store. Maybe they open a box or two, but no one's doing mass box breaking like Darium TCG style back in the day. It's just a massive out to the face. These boxers are too expensive for what the product is inside them. Simply put, there has not been a box in the last three years that the IEV is positive from a distribute, and and that's that's pretty that's very telling, guys. I'm not saying you go out on eBay and you buy a box, right? I'm saying I'm going out as a store or a distributor, supposedly going to get a low price. I cannot find a box like that, and that should be quite disturbing. That should be very disturbing. So if I cannot find a box like that at the price where I can break it and, you know, I can break it and make a little bit of money. Um, how can you? No offense to you, but it's, it's the same idea, right? If I'm buying the box low and you buy the box higher than me, how the F are you going to get out of this box? Like, I, I just don't understand what the what the mindset even is. Like, no one can get out of this box. No one, even mass box openers have all quit and all, all left and they're uh, all done. You know, no more. No more. And when you have a, when you have a box and the value is, so low. Let me like, explain. Like, if you buy the box for five hundred four, you'd be lucky to pull three hundred dollars on on that box. And if your store is very generous and desperately needs these cards, maybe they offer you fifty percent, maybe forty percent. A lot of these cards under five dollars, the buy list is like twenty percent on. That is very very low money, man. You're getting almost nothing back for these boxes. And it's sad, you know, it is quite sad to see this happen time and time again, box and box again. It, it's not reasonable. It is not, uh, no, it is uh, really sad to see happen because these people, that box is supposed to pay, going to pay for their rent. And... Now they've used it to buy magic cards. I mean, a box of magic cards is getting very, very close to their rent now. So that's something that you guys need to know. Um, boxes, 505, like 50. If you are addicted, I, I like opening packs for myself. I like the rush. It's a little bit of a gamble, right? It's better than going to casino or playing poker where, yes, you could win money, but it's far more volatile and often you do lose money. Opening a few boxes, it's not going to hurt anyone, right? But I don't open it and expect to make money from it. I open it with my eyes fu fully open to the possibility I'm going to lose money. It's like a casino, but the odds are like 10% that you make money. Anyway, my guys. Maybe less than 10%, honestly.